Basics of the immune system. The immune system, one of the most complex parts of the human body. An intricate network of cells and molecules evolved over the course of hundreds of thousands of years to protect us from the dangers of the outside environment. So how does it work? First, detect the threat, summon help, and launch a counterattack. When a virus infiltrates a cell, for example, a cell lining our airway, the cell detects this as foreign and produces cytokines, messenger proteins, to summon help via phagocytes, a type of white blood cell, and also help to contain the local spread of the virus from cell to cell, typically the role of interferons. Specialized white blood cells called phagocytes try to destroy the intruding virus by literally eating them up. These first responders show up within minutes and make up the innate immune system. It is fast to respond, but not precise, and it does its best to shut down an infection as soon as possible. The adaptive immune system is highly specialized, but much slower. Dendritic cells collect small fragments of the virus left over from the battles of the innate immune system and ferry these to our lymph nodes, where highly specialized white blood cells called T cells are waiting. T cells are pre-programmed soldiers, each one trained to target a specific invader. When a dendritic cell carrying a specific type of virus fragment shows up, the relevant T cell will divide many times to produce an army of clones. There are two main types of T cells. Cytotoxic T cells recognize and destroy infected cells that harbor the virus, and helper T cells boost the immune response by activating B cells to produce antibodies. Antibodies are specific proteins that block the structures that viruses use to latch onto and enter our cells. Antibodies also mop up the viruses that are floating around within our bodies. Although T cells and B cells can take several days to move into action, they are incredibly precise. And they remember. After the virus has been neutralized and the army stands down, most specific T cells and B cells die off. But a small fraction stay alert, patrolling the bloodstream and lymph nodes for repeat attacks. If the same virus attacks our cells again, these memory cells spring into action, activating the power of the adaptive immune system without the day's long startup. This memory is the basis of how a childhood infection or a vaccination can lead to lifelong protection.